Hi everybody, hope you're all all right. Um, welcome along. This is our 4 p.m. Uh, movement snack, our, our sway and stretch for the day. Um, if this is the video you're looking for, then stay with us. If it's not, then scoot your way back through the Facebook page until you find the one you want. And then we'll see you on the catch up later on. Um, don't forget, this week we've got a change as far as uh, our YouTube channel is concerned. Over 170 videos on there now. So from this week forward, um, on Monday of the following week, so next Monday, we'll be uh, selecting and loading up a total of six videos. There'll be one morning video, three lunchtime videos, and two afternoon videos. So um, no three, two, what, no, no three, two, one, I can't do it, Kelsey, can't do it. Um, there'll be a one, three, two instead. So we'll go with the one, three, two from uh, from next week. Hi Dawn, good afternoon. Uh, we've also got uh, Fran with us. Um, hi Fran, welcome on board, welcome along. Good to see you with us this afternoon. Uh, hi Sheila and the uh, Day Elliot Chapel Collective are all ready to go. Good to hear that, good to hear that. The Midland Massive is, well, one part of the Midland Massive is here. Kelsey not, uh, not here yet or hasn't said hello. So, um, you, although I seem to remember, Sheely, didn't you mention yesterday someone used to be from Nuneaton or the day before? It's been a couple of days since I was with you. Hi, Christine. Welcome on board. Hi, George. Good to see you. Hope you're all doing well, everybody. Hope you've been managing to put those extra minute movements on your day, extra minutes of, uh, of movement. Um, and yeah, Dawn quite rightly says, don't worry, all the Facebook videos will remain where they are. It's just the YouTube that um, we're cutting back on a little bit. Um, hi, Red Rita's in. Good to see you. Welcome on board. Uh, back and kicking. Good to have you. Good to have you with us. Uh, so yeah, all the videos will stay on the face Facebook. It's only the YouTube that you're going to see that selection of. So we'll still be here three times a day, um, but we'll only load six up onto Facebook the following week. So if um, you do go back, sorry, on YouTube. So if you do go onto YouTube as well, um, you'll find that there won't be the full selection on there going forward and you won't get them on a daily basis. It'll be a week's worth put up at one go. But, you know, stay with us on Facebook. We're here three times a day, three lots of additional movement minutes to add to your day. Hi, Bex. Um, hi, Dee, coming on board. Um, hi, Christine. Lots of rainbows and Welsh flags. Always good to see. And a kiss. Oh, -ho. hello. Welcome, Christine, on board. Hi, Jane, Edinburgh. Good to see you. Hope Edinburgh's doing uh, okay. And uh, you're staying well, everybody. Hope you've been crowbarring in those extra movements throughout the day as well. This is our swaying stretch. So bringing things down a little bit, a little bit of uh, relaxation, um, calming down the day, calming down the day to add in our last 10 minutes of additional movement onto our day. Let me know what you've been up to today. Um, it's been a little bit windy here today. Been sunny-ish, but a little bit windy. Um, so done a bit of baking this morning. Um, got to go collect stuff from the chemist later on for all the relatives and do deliveries of medications. That's my day sorted basically. Afternoon, Carol. Good to have you with us. Um, and um, it's raining cats and dogs. At long last, the skies are rumbling and growling. Ooh. Shampoo the dog with mom. Hopefully you shampoo the dog with shampoo rather than shampooed the dog with your mom. But hopefully your mom was there with you when you were doing it is what you're meaning. Who knows? It's a topsy-turvy world at the moment. Ah, oh dear. What else being we going on? So this is, today is Friday the 22nd, I believe. Yeah, Friday the 22nd. Let's just double check that. Yeah, Friday the 22nd of May. Um, it's our 4 p.m. slot. We've got a few more minutes to wait. We'll get a few more people on board. We've got 19 people with us so far. 19 viewers. Hopefully we're going to have 19 movers and shakers as well. It's always good to have you along with us. 
Let me know what you've been up to. Say hello. Say hello to me. Say hello to the gang. We're all here. We're all here for everybody. Um, let us know what you've been doing before we get ourselves going. Let me know how the crowbarring's been going. Just a reminder before we start, um, the I Can calendar that you can download from the Later Life Training website. So laterlifetraining.co.uk, you can download that. And it's also available in a range of languages as well. So uh, have a look on there. If you're looking for a different language of that, you might find that we've got that on there for you. So a lot of the stuff that we do in these movement minutes is included in there. And there's some, uh, I know Kelsey earlier on uh, was doing some uh, checks with you as well. So where you can uh, see how you're improving or how things are going. So um, things like the, the balance tests. And I know you'd, we were doing sit to stands earlier on. Um, and uh, those tests where you can actually monitor how you're doing, how things are going. Um, are you seeing improvements? Uh, they're in there as well. Right. Okay. It's four o'clock. I think it's time we had a three, two, one. So three, two, one. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dave Montgomery from Later Life Training. Welcome along. Welcome along to this 4 p.m. movement slot. Some extra additional movements on top of our everyday day. Now, if you want to, you can just swipe those comments across to the side like I'm going to do here so you can see the full screen. You'll get the bottom half of me as well then. So if you can't see very clearly the bottom half of my legs, swipe the comments to the side so you can see me. This, along with everything else we've done today, will give us a total of 30, at least 30, although I think it's getting more around, sort of like getting on towards 40 minutes of additional movement minutes we're adding into our day when we put all of these together. This is our swaying stretch. So we're gonna do some swaying movements, some three-dimensional di three movements, and we're gonna do some stretches. But before we do any of that, we're gonna have a little circulation booster. So let's get ourselves into either a standing or a seated active position. If we're standing, let's make sure we've got, pot, we've got support around us. I've got my banister here, I've got a wall here. So I've got lots of options as far as my external support is concerned. I can turn into it if I need to. And if I want to change side, taking as many steps as I need, I can turn to face the other way and keep support. In our chair, we just need to make sure we have a good seated posture as well as we have our, seat, our posture when we're standing. So let's have a quick look at our posture before we start. Feet are in line with our, our knees. Knees are in line with our hips. And we're gonna lift the shoulders up, back and down, opening up that chest, opening the rib cage, making it bigger so we can breathe better. We can take deeper breaths. It's really good for us to be able to, to do that. So let's get that posture there. Chin, we're just going to bring it back slightly so we've got a nice straight line down through the back of our neck. Stay with that posture there. Seated, exactly the same for our posture, but what we're going to do to start off with is just hip walk into the front third of our chair. Feet flat on the floor and they stay flat on the floor. Sit tall from these hips and shoulders back and down. From there, whether you're seated or standing, start bringing the heels up for a lift onto those toes for me. In your standing position, we're gonna lift onto those toes, lifting those heels. Now, it's not for me, it's for you we're doing this. So lift up onto those toes, and let's put an arm in. One arm at a time, changing every time if we need to, or both arms, if you feel steady and sturdy, on the floor, yeah, on the standing position. Use your support if you need it. Keep going. In our seated position, exactly the same with those arm movements. If we want to, we can cut the hands together and we can have a little bit of a rowing action. Keep going. Now, our whole idea here is we're just gonna circulate the boost, boost the circulation a little bit. So if we've been sat for a while, we're getting that blood pumping around the body carrying the oxygen to the muscles for us, carrying the nutrients around the body. If we've had an active afternoon, then this is a bit of a calming down for you as well, before we go into our sway and stretch. And just hold it there. Bring yourself in. Let's start with our arms. First of all, let's reset our posture. So stand tall, 
shoulders back, bringing those shoulder blades in together, but nice, uh, relaxed across these shoulders. Standing tall, sitting tall. Arms, one at a time. What I'm gonna do is bring the arm across the body and then out. Sorry, no, what I'm gonna do, sorry, is the other way around, actually. I'm gonna bring it in and across the body. Okay, so I reach forward and across the body. Let me show you in a standing position. I'm reaching forward and across the body. In our seated position, exactly the same. Reaching forward and across the body. So let's do that. Gentle, slow, controlled movements. Nothing big and we're no higher than our shoulders. Controlled, and if you need to, make it smaller. If that's a bit challenging for your shoulders, then make it a smaller movement. Bring it in here and across. Keep going, keep going. Take a pause. Let's look at our feet. So, in our standing position, we're gonna stagger the feet. So one foot is further forward than the other. Show you sideways on. I'm here. My feet are flat on the floor though, and my knees are soft, okay? I'm standing tall from my hips still, and keeping that good upright posture. Let's continually check on that posture. I'm gonna take a little shift of the weight forward, and a shift of the weight backwards. Now have a look at this front leg. I don't bring the knee further forward than my shoes. I'm just shifting that weight. So if you imagine a pair of scales and you're trying to balance them, we're gonna push the weight across onto one side and then push it across onto the other. So we're trying to find that balance. We never actually find it with this because we're gonna shift the weight forward and shift the weight back. But feel that coming down through your legs. In a seated position, exactly the same. Staggering the legs, bringing the weight onto the front foot, and bring it onto the back foot. And you can feel this, my buttocks are staying in touch with the chair. You should be able to feel that weight moving across from one leg to the other. And you should feel it into your sitting bones as well. So you should feel that that's that definite shift of weight. And we've got a little hinge from our hips to shift that weight forward and back. Take a pause. Let's try and put the two together. So we're gonna stand, we've got our external support if we need it, and if we're using our external support, one arm at a time. So finish one move before you do the other. Let's start with our feet. So shift that weight forward and back, okay? Make sure you feel firm and steady. If you feel ease, if it feels a little easier for you, you can come to this position here and shift your weight from side to side. Ideally, what I want is that forward and backward motion. Something we do in everyday life, we're walking forwards, we may have to take steps backwards. That shift of weight. Let's put those arms in. So, let me come a little bit closer for you. One arm comes across, and down across the body. The other arm comes across, and down through the body. Now, this shifting of weight, from one leg to the other, this sway, so to speak, gets our brain practicing which muscles to tighten and which to loosen. And that's an important part of our balance control. So we work in the brain at the same time. Brilliant. Okay, what we're gonna try and do Let's put a little bit of motion into that to give us a bit more of a challenge to it. So I've got this forward and back motion. I'm gonna start with one hand here and one hand here. As I bring this hand down, I'm gonna bring the other hand around and across. So I've now got that flowing motion. It's nice and slow and controlled. So don't rush it. Control it, make it smaller if you need to, slow it down more if you need to. Work within your comfort zone. 
Uh, that's it. Take a pause. One more level, if we want it. Challenge ourselves a little bit. If you feel at all unsteady while you do this, though, you do not do it. You hold on if you need to as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of head movement in there. So in our everyday life, we're continually doing lots of things at the same time. And again, like that sway back and forth, this 3D motion, this doing numerous things at the same time, our brain has to do that on a daily basis. So we're practicing those brain patterns as well, coordinating all of these movements happening at the same time. Take a look and then we'll rehearse. Shifting the weight, one hand here, one here. I'm gonna come across and look to the side. And then I'm gonna to look to the other side as I bring in the hand in. So as the hand is coming around to coming towards the chest, I'm shifting my head. Let's have a practice. Step in, one hand here, one here. Turn to look to your hand as it comes around as the other hand goes down diagonally across the body. Slow and controlled. Keep going. In our seated position, we have exactly the same. So, add to the side. And turning to face the other side. Only if you're ready for that challenge. Take a pause, stop there. Let's do some stretches. We're gonna go into our upper body first, opening these uh, shoulder blades, bringing the shoulder blades together closer at the back to open this chest. So our hands into the small of the back, and we're gonna ease the shoulders back, bringing those shoulder blades together. Feel a lengthening of this muscle here. In our chair, an option for you is to take the hands to the back of the chair and ease the shoulders back. So you use the chair to your of your anchoring. Holding these for around 20 seconds. It's really good all the shoulder work you've done today. It's gonna to help ease that off and give you a stretch through that chest. And release. We're coming into our calf. So for our calf, what we're going to do, we've got some support if we need it. Come here for our support. I'm going to step back if I'm in a standing position. Put the heel, the ball of the foot down onto the floor first, and then put the heel down. Okay. Um, from there, we're going to lean into it. So I've just got my hands placed here for support. I've got a nice straight line. Have a look at this straight line coming down my back into here. So I'm not hinging forwards. I'm keeping that nice straight line. Stay with that. Change legs if you need to, if you're ready. In our seated position, our heel is down, our toe is up. We're just gonna sit nice and tall and just rest the hands. They can come at the side or onto your lap and just bring those toes a little bit closer in. So imagine pushing your heel away, bringing the toes in a little bit. You'll feel a stretch into your calf. Holding again for around 20 seconds. Breathing nice and normally. So in through our nose and out through our mouth. Regular breathing. Change legs. If you're in seated, if you're in standing, just hold there for a moment and just have a little pedal of those feet just to loosen that calf off while we wait and finish off the stretch in a seated position. Okay, moving on to our final stretch, into the back of our thigh. For our seated, I'm gonna take the foot out. Heel is down, toe is up. Watch firstly, and then we'll do it together. Heel down, toe up. Sit tall, hands on the knee, and I'm just gonna hinge my hip forward. So hinge at the hip to lean into it, feeling that stretch into the back of our thigh. Now, I don't wanna feel it in my calves. So if I do, I'm gonna take that toe away a little bit. I'm gonna relax those toes. And if I can't feel it, I'm just gonna come a little bit further forward. Stay there, don't do it yet. 
in our standing position, we're going to step forward on one foot. We've got our support again. And this time we're just going to hinge from the hip and push the bottom away. The foot is flat on the floor and pushing the bottom away. Okay, seated or standing, let's get into our stretch and then just hold it for around 20 seconds. Now, if this starts to ease off, if we can't feel it, push a little bit further away with that bottom. Keep going with that for me. Now think about the ankle movements that we've done throughout the days. We've done them in the morning. And think about the stretches that we're doing in the afternoon through our calf and our hamstrings. And you should be feeling some improvement in ankle movement and ankle mobility there, which hopefully means that you can lean a little bit further into that stretch and get a better stretch. Change legs for me. So either seated or standing again, if we're in our standing position, we're leaning into it. Support if we need it, but it's always a fixed external support. We're just pushing that bottom away, feeling a nice a lengthening, sorry, down through the back of the thigh. Ease out of that. And there we are, we're done. Those are our stretches and our sway for today. So 30 additional movements. Let's say if we have a quick look at the clock, it's gonna be more than 30 additional move, movement minutes we've added today. It's probably gonna be more around the 40 mile, which is brilliant. Let's keep it up, let's keep going. Let's keep movement on our radar throughout the day. Let's keep adding those additional movement minutes onto our day. Let's think about our posture continually and how we hold ourselves. How does it feel? Think about the movements that we did in that sway and that stretch. The sway motion, we, we're doing that movement continually in our everyday life. And, and think about how that feels. Remember that we're shifting the weight and we're working into the brain as well. We're giving the brain the practice of making those movements and shifting that weight, which is part of our every activity, walking, stepping, all of those things, we're shifting weight. All of those stretches, if you do have the ICANN calendar, can be found on the June page. So have a look on the June page of the uh, ICANN calendar if you do have it. And remember, as I said at the beginning, if you don't have it, you can download it from the Later Life Training website. And we also have it in uh, a number of other languages uh, on there as well. So you can download it from there. This is the last afternoon one from me for um, a little while. I'll be with you every morning from tomorrow through till the next Friday. So uh, have a good evening, keep moving, keep mobile, and I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Bye everybody, have a good evening.